Okay, welcome to step three in our 10 part uh, process of how you overcome lower back pain forever. Now this one is uh, very much like trying to find the cause of the whole problem where it all sort of started. Uh, very, very uh, critical in, to make sure that you have the guaranteed um, solution to the problem for, for a long time, for forever pretty much. Because if you go through the, the rest of the process where I identify stretches and we do the right exercises and so on and so on, they're all going to help. But if you, if you still continue to do the thing that started it all off in the first place and created the problem, uh, all of that stuff is just going to maintain you for a little help you to a degree, but it won't actually get rid of it. The minute you stop doing those exercises, it's just going to come back and be just equally as bad as it was the first time. So what you need to do is look for things that are repetitive movements. So um, things like uh, standing like this, it creates like tightness on through the hips. Um, the other side becomes extremely weak. Um, you're just creating like a scoliosis type thing through your through your spine. All right, so that that's something that we commonly see. Um, possibly the most critical one is sitting too much. So just sitting for long periods at the computer, sitting for like. You know, without moving from your chair for like an hour, two hours, you know, that, that can be really bad. Um, crossing your legs, so doing this sort of stuff. Um, you know, people sitting like this, piriformis syndrome, that's a good way to get that. Um, sciatic nerve problems. Um, now, sit, sitting at your workstation, um, this is a big one, right? Because if you've got a low back problem, the chance of getting a neck problem is pretty high. All right, and they sort of like interrelated because of the spine. So setting up your workstation, you should be sort of sitting quite comfortably. And your chair should be set up so it's nice that you're not jamming your hip. So you can see here, this is quite a nice height for me. I can keep my hands pretty much comfortably on the desk here without me having to strain and do this. And I don't, and I don't want to hunch. All right, so. If I'm sitting like that, uh, this is a great way to get a disc bulge. All right, so I, I don't want to do that, and I definitely don't want to have a chair that's uh, sort of bringing my knees up too high, and I definitely don't want to sit on my knees either. All right, because when I do that, it creates like tight hips. All right, so just remember. So I put in the uh, book there in the uh, ebook here um, to buy the book sitting on the job because he goes through. Um, with illustrations and really good descriptions on how to set your workstation up correctly. There's lots of stuff out there as well, but um, if you spend a bit of time to get yourself in that really nice posture without overextending, just sort of neutral, well worth the, the, um, the effort to do so, and you'll start to eliminate a lot of the problems where they all started. Um, also, making sure that you don't sit down for more than like 15 minutes to get up and move around. Just sort of standing up and, and doing that, walking up the stairs and going around doing something, just sort of allows the, everything to sort of lo loosen itself up a bit again and not jam itself up, all right? So um, that'd be the step three, all right? So identify the cause, repetitive movements, how you stand, crossing legs. And if you can do that and make a change, put a plan in place to change it, well on the way to getting on top of your back pain. I'll see you in the next one for step four.